You all have been waiting for this tutorial. Today I'm doing Vinny Hacker's hair. So I'm going to do the haircut, follow along, and I'm gonna break it down at the end. Let's get started.
right, everyone. So the Vinnie Hacker haircut is completed and let's break down what I did. So the first thing was I created my shape throughout the back here, holding the hair out and cutting it to where it's about an inch to an inch and a half long throughout the entire back. And I did that all the way in through here. And then the next part of all of this is connecting it right in through the top back area. So, you know, it's still blended because if you don't have this blended, it's going to have a lot of like a harsh shelf right in through here, a hard kind of line. And you don't want that. You want this hair to have a lot of kind of natural texture and a lot of flow to it. So this is all blended in through here. And the length, as you can see, comes out, I would say about four and a half inches or so. I continued the same consistency about four and a half inches all the way throughout the very, very top. The front comes down right to about halfway down throughout the nose here. And I left it longer because I'm able to kind of get that, that texture and I'm able to scrunch it up, obviously. And also, I think his hair and a lot of his other guys, their hair has just grown out and they haven't had a chance to really get a haircut. But this is, you know, something I know you guys want to see is more of the longer grown out version. And then what I did is I rounded out the sides in through here and tapered a bit down in through the sideburn area right in through here. So again, even though it's a bit longer and more textured on top, it looks very neat down in through here. And that's what kind of creates this haircut. Then for the styling, what I did is I used my Tidal Wave Sea Salt Spray, which is literally the best product I think for this type of look because the sea salt spray, it's not very grimy like a lot of other sea salt sprays. It's not heavy, it's not really tacky and gritty. It's just the perfect amount. And I also used a diffuser on my Dyson Supersonic Dryer, which really helps create a lot more wave. When I blow dried it, I did a lot of scrunching like this, a couple of twists and let the heat just kind of um, just set that into shape. And then when I was done, you just go in now and just scrunch it. And here we have the finished result. All right, YouTube, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.